Brought to you by StationHouseCoffee.com and Ting. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the 87th episode of Swipe Up, the show where I share some of my favorite posts from Instagram. Let's get it started with this post from ESPN MMA. The champion at light heavyweight, Khabib Nurmagomedov, is uh, kind of his whole family is being devastated by the the coronavirus, uh, which, you know, for those that uh, follow the UFC, Khabib and his family, Muslim, very strict, very disciplined, very like, very much like people who wouldn't make up the fact that their family is dying from a virus that's caused a pandemic. Uh, however, the UFC is probably full, the UFC fan base, I should say, is probably full of a lot of people that think it's a hoax. Um, but let me read this. There's a lot written on the internet about my father. My father, right now, is located in a hospital, he is in critical condition. As a result of the coronavirus, it impacted his heart because uh, because last year he had surgery there, and right now uh, they did another surgery. He is in very difficult situation, very difficult, and we are asking Allah to return him to us. Uh, and apparently, he's had other family members that have caught it. Um, but yeah, it's a, a serious situation, people. And now that, like, states are starting to open up, I don't want to make this all about coronavirus, uh, but it's uh, people are acting stupid, and the second wave of this is right around the corner, it feels like. Uh, but, yeah, so shout out, first off, for the Khabib family. I have been very critical of him as a fighter uh, and just his uh, certain things about him and his character. Uh, but when it comes down to it, I don't want people to be suffering and to be dying and to be hurt. Uh, you know, so positive energy to him and his family um, and his dad, because I know his dad is a huge part of his, um, his career, his life. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's r the reality of the situation that people are dying and are getting sick and uh i think we've reached a hundred thousand in this country so far that's you know some people say they're over counting other people say they're under counting i'm saying people are dying um and i have no desire aside from not having any money um you know to go out and and put myself at risk or mainly to put the people I live with at risk. Um, I, you know, I would feel horrible if I got my, my roommates and, uh, their, their, and children sick. It would just, it would be heartbreaking. Um, so stay safe, everybody. Uh, so moving on from that one to just, uh, an awesome piece of artwork. Ari Shafir recently had on Joey Diaz, uh, which I did a Photoshop for, which was not used, uh, which I, Definitely could have used the money, but it's I can understand why. Uh, this is just an amazing illustration here done by uh, uh, Bl Blob More Chairs. Great just illustration of Joey Diaz. Uh, the Revenge Robber is the name of the episode. A great episode, uh, by the way, of Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tank. So you can watch that on Ari Sh or, uh, Skeptic Tank Pod on YouTube or uh, any podcast app that you have available. Uh, but Joey Diaz has lived a crazy life. Uh, and they talk about st stealing and how Joey Diaz used to um, rob people out of revenge. Uh, just crazy, craziness. But yeah, just an amazing illustration that that uh, he put out that I really enjoy. Because um, I love art. Uh, now moving on to this one. Just a, a visual representation of what I've been feeling like this past month, if three weeks. I've just had waves, waves of the most intense anxiety that I haven't felt in a long time. No panic attacks. It, ha it didn't really go that direction. It went more depression. <laughs> like this past week, uh, 
not only did my the old camera I used to use for this show, not only did that camera break, but my old phone broke. Uh, literally, like the next like Sunday, in the middle of recording, my phone, my camera broke, and then like the next day or two, uh, my phone stopped working. And I do so much, like literally, produce some of the show with my phone post all of my content online with my phone. Like I just, I use it for so many things from a creative uh, business standpoint that it just, it like, it ruined me, man. It ruined me. Thankfully, I was able to get a a refurbished uh, old, old iPhone. It's still newer than the one I was using, but thankfully um, I was able to to get one, a replacement um, but this, uh, by the way, if you're listening, the the image, it's a it's an art sculpture of a woman, full size woman, curled up in the fetal position, wrapped in a clear plastic bag, uh, that's tied off, and it's you know you can tell the, the air is not completely sucked out of it, but that's just kind of what it feels like, just being stuck in a plastic bag, not really being able to breathe. Um, so this, as far as visual representations of my mental state, uh, off and on for the past, this past month, uh, it is by far this image right here, um, which was, it was, I posted it to my, my stories on Instagram, uh, like the day, the night it, my phone just shut off. It just shut off. I think it may have been the battery. I mean, the battery was pretty horrible. Um, but yeah, it just it just died. It just died, and nothing's open. So it's not like I could just go to the Apple Store and say, "Yo, my phone isn't working. Can you at least tell me what it is, and I'll replace the battery or whatever." I've already replaced the the camera on it. So many things on that phone were falling apart. Uh, so it, it feels good to get like a phone that's new, <laughs> newer. It works uh, in every way. But yeah, this uh, this image uh, is definitely uh, just, I'm sure, a feeling that a lot of people are feeling right now, uh, especially if you're in the category of somebody that doesn't get unemployment. Um, like, the stimulus check is hilarious. I mean, we're at this... Tomorrow I'm recording episode 10 of Rona Days, so that's 10 weeks of being locked down. Um just horrible. Uh, yeah. So anyway, moving on from that to something good. Uh, one of my favorite artists out, Husky Boyo, uh, has been posting a lot of these. He's been doing a lot of Sharpie drawings in his moleskin uh, sketchbook. And this one is of Yoda. This is his first time drawing Yoda. This dude, he's done a lot of comedians. He was doing a lot of posters for um, Burt Kreischer back in the day. I think maybe Tom Segura as well. Uh, just a great artist. I love his style. Uh, it's just like, it, it's just so good and so effortless, but it it definitely has his, his you know, you can tell it's his work. Like he, ha- he has, a, it's like a, it, it's almost like an old timey kind of illustration style, but, but, you know, more updated, I guess you could say, I don't know if I'm describing that right, but I love his stuff. Follow him on Instagram. He's the best. Uh, and then moving on to our last one, this one from my old pal, Adriel Restrepo, who's doing the same thing. Uh, he's taking pictures of uh, sketches that he's doing. Uh, and his style of art is very much more like cartoonish, psychedelic cartoonish kind of a style. Uh, and this one's a alien spaceman drawing. Um, I don't know if either of them are selling, have a website. I know at one point, Adriel had, I believe, an Etsy shop, uh, but for sure follow them on Instagram to check out their work, and if it's, if they, if they put something up that you like, I'm sure if you contacted them, they would sell it to you, because artists definitely need your help, and, you know, if you're into art, I make art too, but these guys do different stuff than me, so, and even if they did similar stuff, I'd still promote them, because I want to, it's time, it's time we all do what we can to help others that are outside of ourselves. It's, it's time to be caring of others and not being selfish, which so many people are being selfish right now, uh, partying, 
because they think it's magically over. Uh, but w- it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so I want to, uh, and there's not a whole lot. I mean, people aren't posting on Instagram regularly. Uh, so, you know, I might, might as well use this time to pr- promote some of my favorite artists. Uh, so that's it. Let's do some shout outs and get out of here, shall we? Shout out to ESPN MMA. Shout out Khabib underscore Nurmagomedov. Shout out Ari Shafir. Blob More Chairs. Skeptic Tank Pod. Shout out Art underscore Magazine. Shout out Jose Klein, Husky Boyo, and Adriel Restrepo. Shout out to all you. Be sure to go check out our sponsor, Station House Coffee, on Instagram at stationhousecoffee.com for small batch, single origin, premium coffee brewed in vermont delivered directly to you support small business and order your coffee now at stationhousecoffee.com and follow station house coffee on instagram also if you're looking for new cell phone service and save some money you can get 25 dollars in credit by signing up with ting over at inspireddisorder.com slash ting that's t-i-n-g it's the same best coverage same low rates now with three coast-to-coast networks, go sign up now for $25 of device credit when you sign up through my link, inspireddisorder.com slash ting. That's T-I-N-G. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go buy my artwork and merchandise for this show over at inspireddisorder.com. Follow the show on Instagram, at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Oh,